It all started on Instagram when this random guy out of nowhere responds to my stories telling me he has a job for me. And that, of course, I had to reach out to him on Telegram. So what did I do? I basically went against my own advice and reached out to the guy to know what the job was all about. Spoiler alert here, there is no job. And if anyone ever reaches out to you on Instagram DM, Twitter DM, or on Upwork and just sends you a telegram link don't do that just don't go there because it's likely a scam but back to the video <laughs> so he did the usual thing where he tried to get as much information from me as possible they probably keep this in a database somewhere i couldn't care less i usually give them just bogus information anyway and then he just went straight to sending me a test project now again another side note here i don't usually do test projects not for scammers not for real life clients just because i think my experience speaks for itself and if someone wants you to do a job for them, even if it's just a test, they should pay something as little as just $5, something symbolic, just so they don't get away with getting the whole job for free because I'm going on a tangent here, but this is a very common thing. Even non-scammers do this, even though this should be considered a scam where clients ask different freelancers for different parts of the project and then they put it all together and they get the job for free. So don't do it. That's my advice. But yeah, I asked him about payment and he said it was $3,000 for the entire project where I had to essentially translate a hundred written images. Of course I asked, how much do I get in advance? And again, another side note here, I always recommend you get something in advance, even if it's just 10, 20, 50% of the project, just to make sure that the client for one is real and that they're serious about the project. But back to the scammer, of course, he denied giving any advance payment. Funnily enough, he mentioned that his company had been scammed in the past by a freelancer who got advance payment and then didn't do their job. But of course, I kept asking because for one, I'm stubborn AF and two, I'm here to waste their time. And so he said, if you want to know I'm real, then call me. So I did. Surprise, surprise, he didn't pick up. But don't worry, because I did eventually get him to pick up in the end, even though that meant trying a bunch of different times. And do you want to know what he said? Let's cue that conversation. Hi, can you hear me now? I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. I'm Mr. Ogden. Okay, hi, nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. So, about the business, about the projects, mm -hmm. well, my company, you know, we experience lots of scam that comes into our, our, our DM. Then mm -hmm. they ask for advance of payment. Oh, okay. Yes, and we give them half of their payment. But then they suddenly stop. Yes, and block my contact. So the company made it clear to us that we should stop giving out advance. I don't know. Is there any way that you can show me that you've paid freelancers in the past? Because I, I can show you testimonials from past clients if that helps you be more comfortable. Well, I am not handling the payment issues, okay? But like, how can I know like this is actually a real job? Because okay. I understand there's a lot of freelancers that don't do the job and just go away. But I know there's a lot of clients like that too and I just want to be safe, you know? Okay, I understand you, I understand you. But how do I know that this is for real? Because I've been scammed in the past. Okay, do you need some payment proofs? I mean, I, I need any proof that I can. I mean, it would be great if you could pay me like just $5, but if you, if you can send me some proof, I think that would work too. I just need to know that I'm, you know, being safe, you know? Okay, I'll send you some payment proofs. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. But yeah, needless to say, I wasn't fully convinced yet. And again, I just wanted to waste as much of his time as possible so he doesn't spend that time scamming actual people. So I asked him if I could talk to a freelancer he's paid in the past. He gave me some DS that he could get fired for that. So I went the extra mile and I asked him to see the website for the company. And then he sent me these voice notes. 
when you start working for the company, all this will be sent to you. But I'm not in position to send you all these things. All, all, all I have to do here is just to send you some proofs that the company has been paying other freelancers. Do you understand? So any mistake I, 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 I do here is on my head. I might get fired. When you're done with your project, you submit it to the company's email. Then they will ask you for your bank details or your PayPal details, and then they will send you your three thousand dollars for the payment. Understand? In the end, the most I got from him was a payment confirmation screenshot from one of the freelancers he apparently paid. So then I tried to get him to break as I usually do by asking about time zones because he kept messaging me at about 9am which if he was really in the states it would be super early for him and no usual company would reach out at that time but he just brushed it off like completely ignored my question and sent me a WeTransfer link with the images for the project. For safety reasons, I didn't open the file, so I kept kind of delaying the giving him the project done for as long as I could. But he kept reminding me of deadlines until he kind of gave up and told me he had a new project for me. Now I'm gonna show you what this new project looks like and you can tell me some of the similarities, okay? So we got high pay, we have quick turnaround, we got a low amount of details and just an overall sense of urgency for no apparent reason. And honestly, after that, I think I just got blocked because the conversations completely vanished from my telegram. But hey, <laughs> at least I kept the screenshots to show you all. So moral of the story, don't talk to clients on telegram. Don't fall for things that seem too good to be true. And hey, if you like scam content like this, make sure to subscribe down below because I really like doing these types of videos. So I actually have a couple more episodes of these coming up soon so subscribe if you don't want to miss out and in the meantime i recommend you watch this video right here on another scammer i chased just for your entertainment so i'll see you right there